This video will review the unique Model 2722 CNC Machining Center, designed specifically for door manufacturing. Both small cabinet and large entry doors, the unique machine is quite flexible and simple to operate. Unique will demonstrate the operation simplicity of the 2722 by having a person who has never run this machine before with no woodworking background produce a wide variety of parts and profiles. It is worth noting that this machine is also capable of dowel drilling and aggregate routing operations such as louver grooving, pocket mortising and other edge routing applications. The Mitsubishi controls with Unique's interface coupled with dual 14 horsepower HSK 63F router motors and an 18 position tool changer make this machine a powerful tool for piece part production or as a complete door remake work cell. So we have some material here. Katie, go ahead and grab the uh, coat material to start and a backer. And uh, we'll come over here and watch you pick it on the screen, main menu, looking to see that it says oak and uh, shaker cope, selecting shaker cope, and uh, loading the part, and get this thing underway. Pull those parts out and we'll turn them around. And we'll show you in a moment on the next one, we'll actually use last length so it can actually skip the measuring process. Go ahead and pull those out. You can put the backer over to the side over here. And uh, just put those parts on the table, that'd be fine. Okay, now that the cope is done, we're gonna go ahead and do these uh, shaker rails here. So go ahead and select those. Come back over to the screen. And uh, now she just selected shaker rail. She's gonna insert those parts into the machine. Go ahead and clamp it there and start the cycle. And the machine will cut both those styles simultaneously. All right, then we'll go ahead and pull those out. It's okay. It automatically unclamps. I forgot to tell her that. Go ahead and uh, put these parts down here. And then if you will, uh, go ahead and let's do a bead cope. Or I'm sorry, uh, do the OG. So the OG is a different profile. And we're gonna cope that now. And you'll notice when she selects it on the screen here, It is actually just going to load up because the OG tools are in the other spindle. So it's not even going to need to do a tool change. Clamps that up there, gets cut, and uh, the machine is going to start the spindle up on its own. It knows that it needs that other spindle in order to run, and it's going to come down through and cut here. And she's going to turn those around. And then this time, Katie, when you go up there, hit use last length. So hit clamp. And go ahead and hit use last length. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow the machine to immediately start cutting. 
without doing a measuring cycle because we know exactly where the parts are. And really, the measuring is more for centering of arches and balances and things like that. Now, I should go ahead and move those parts out, and we're going to do the, uh, the OG style there. We'll go ahead and just run that one, yeah. So, if we come over here, go into Oak, and then... Uh, OG rail, start those spindles back up. There we go. Hit load part. The machine came in, it's ready. It's going to clamp the part and start the cycle. profile the OG will now be done it's going to unclamp and pull the part out and then while we're here I think we should might as well do an OG arch okay so there you can see that now let's go over here and uh, grab the OG arch go ahead and feed that in there and when you come over the screen yeah you can do that one Now the machine loaded up, but it actually set the fence further back, so she has to put the material in further, and that'll allow the machine to do the entire arch. And then you will notice, sorry for the uh, glare here. I'm going to go in and do that arch very quickly. That's a nice, easy arch. can see its profile. Go ahead and turn that back around. There we go. And it has the OG profile. So now let's do something uh, a little more difficult. We'll do a um, an OG Cathedral Arch Rail. Try one of those. Go back up. I believe it is not in there. So, oh wait, there it is. He did it as a bead. And that one's actually going to do a tool change. So let's go ahead and do that anyway. That way you can see the arch. And uh, go ahead and hit load. And we'll see what's going to happen. The machine is actually stopping itself. And when she goes to hit load, it's actually going to go up and tool change and put that tool away. That's the shaker tool there. It's going to go over here and pick up the bead tool. And it did that automatically. Just by her selecting that she wanted to do something different, it went and picked that up. So now it's presenting itself and saying it's ready. And she's going to go ahead and put that part in there, clamp it down and start the cycle. And now we're going to see a bead profile cathedral. So what that noise there is, it's actually doing a hogging cut first. You can see we can set up hogging cutters. That was a hogging cut. Go ahead and pull it out. Actually, that one he took all in one cut, okay? So he had that one programmed all in one cut. And let's go ahead and show you one that is uh, using a hogging tool. So if we come back over here, let's do the maple. So if you grab that maple piece there. Yeah, just that first one. And let's see what that one says on it. Okay, so Maple OG, Cathedral Arch. So we're going to go into Maple here. And it looks like there's only two choices. <laughs> and go ahead and, uh, yep, start spindles and load part. It's presenting itself, ready to go. Now 
this one will likely do a hogging cut. So it did a half pass. Now it's coming in from the other direction with a different tool. And then it's coming in finally with the finish cut. So it did two hogging passes and then a finish climb cut to give a really nice finish in a more difficult, shorter maple arch. Go ahead and pull it out of there and uh, flip it around. There we go. So it's a very nice clean cut uh, because it did a hog, two hogs actually, and then a finish cut. So uh, let's run some panels. If we look down underneath, there's some panels down here. Uh, let's see what we got. Got an oak coat, so let's go ahead and run that. So she's going to go back. Now the machine knows that it has the wrong tooling, so it's putting that tool away and it's going to go over and pick up the correct tool to do this job. So it's picking up a panel cutter with a hogger and then it's also going to go ahead and pick up the sander, even though it may not use it on this particular one. Um, I believe it is set up to do it on a different panel cut. So we'll see what we get first here. So actually this was a co-panel straight. Uh, we'll look at the system here in just a second. That just did a shape and a sand. Go ahead and pull that out, Katie. It'll, uh, once it gets done, sorry, it's doing a two-pass sand. It'll unclamp, and we'll take a look at that first. All right, now it's safe to pull it out. Now that part has been uh, shaped and sanded, okay? Then what we'll do is we'll do the arch now. So if we come up here, see where it says uh, cove panel? That was a straight one. If you scroll down more, it might show a, a panel arch. Everybody's fingers are a little bit different there. There it is. So pick the, the 13. There we go. Now I'll flip it around the other way. And we're gonna use a backer this time so that we can show the, um, see how it got just a tiny bit of blowout on the last one? That's really not that big of a deal, but if you wanna completely avoid that, you can actually put a backer in there. So now that she's clamped that, it's gonna go ahead and measure the part. And we're gonna actually be able to see it for the most part, cut right through that. show it uh, doing the sand. The one on the very bottom, I think, is ready for that. We'll do that maple last. Okay? Now we'll go back over here. And hit load. And it should be ready. What that's doing is that's finding the center so I can make sure that arch is right on center. Plowed right on through that and it's going to sand. And in a 
a second here, we'll actually do an arch with a... I think it'll actually have a pre-cut on it as well. This one is doing a flip. Armenius calls a power sand, sanding from both directions. All right, it's gonna unclamp. We'll go ahead and pull that out. 